Welcome to Journeys with Jason George, episode 13, Ditch Beavers. As I head out for my journey, I spot a lone turkey. It's odd, because normally turkeys hang out in rafters, which is a group of turkeys. It's rare that I see just one alone. But in this same field, I notice in the distance some deer. This white-tailed deer. You can tell it's a white-tailed deer because it's tail sticking up and you can see how white it is. Normally if they're females or the males have dropped their antlers, they tend to hang out in groups. So I watched this one and it joined the group. There were only three in this small herd or group, but we left them. And then I saw this odd creature at the side of the road. What is it? I don't know. I've never seen something like this at the side of the road before. And then it started walking. Oh wait, I know what this is. It's got a big flat tail. It looks like that Canadian animal. Yeah, it's a beaver. Man, I remember the last time I saw a beaver. I was in Algonquin Park and it took down a tree. That tree almost hit my fro. I have video of it on my YouTube channel. But this one, this one. It vanished into the culvert it went. Oh, but look at the tracks. You can see where the tail drags and the feet sort of go waddle waddle. And if you look at the trees around this ditch, you can see that the beaver's been pretty busy. Huh, I wonder if it lives here. The ditch beaver. I've only ever seen them in the river, but I guess this is a ditch beaver. Look at all the work it's done. Back on the journey, the goal of the journey was to find an owl, but all we found was whitewash. That's owl poo, in case you didn't know. But this beaver, it got me wondering. So the next day I went back, and it was laying there. Oh my goodness, is it injured? Nope, it moved. Well, I watched it, and it wasn't moving so much. So I was a little bit concerned for this ditch beaver. Did it get hit crossing the road? Is it cold? I don't know. Luckily, it starts swimming shortly after seeing it. And I'm not that worried. But I love the way that it moves through the ditch. It makes this little pathway. Let's look. If you look closely, you can see the beaver trying to get, move its way through the river, or the ditch. And it wants to find a nice place to sort of hang out and eat some branches. Beavers are slow moving, so they like to hang out at the edge of the river, I've noticed. They'll just put their head out, and then when they feel safe, they'll let the rest of their body float out. And they'll figure out what they're going to do. Most of the time I think they're just looking for twigs or branches. But I don't speak beaver, so... Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Oh. Lifted its tail. And it shook. I wonder what caused that. Well, the Canadian beaver, it's making a comeback. It's living in this ditch. I wonder if in the summertime it'll actually move back to the river. Well, until then, I'm just going to keep it a secret. When a beaver gets scared, I think one of its moves is to just sit there and do nothing. The other times it dives underwater. Look at how powerful they are as they swim through the water. They can actually hold their breath for up to 15 minutes, I'm told. But most of the time, they just sit there and they hang out, looking for a branch or a twig to eat. The thing I notice is that they'll actually dunk the branch in the water so that it gets wet. And there's certain branches that they like more than others. And the reason they eat branches is because their teeth are always grown. The reason they're orange is because of the sugar that's underneath or between the bark that they're eating and the actual wood. If you look closely at this one, he actually will take the bark off and then grind it in his back teeth. You can see his head moving as he grinds it in his back teeth. Then he goes back to doing what he's doing. What an awesome creature. I've never been fortunate enough to be this close to a beaver. Normally when I see them, they're swimming away. 
Have you ever seen a beaver? Have you ever been this close to a beaver? Beavers are part of the rodent family, and the more I look at them, I can actually understand why. But to me, they move slow and almost like a sloth, if you've ever seen a sloth. Have you? I remember the ones I've seen in Costa Rica. The precision that the beavers use their teeth is amazing, but they like to swim, and I actually really enjoy watching. So let's dive back under with them see the air bubbles as they float by. This is the route that they make. So they swim this route all the time and slowly but surely they make it deeper and deeper. They take some and they put it into their den or their lodges. This seems like a lot of work that this beaver has put in to make this den, but I guess that's what busy beavers do. I guess that's where the saying comes from. Look at it from above. That's just one little portion of this stream or ditch. And it goes all the way down. Most of the time, this guy just sits there, eating and snipping away at different branches and twigs. There's certain ones it seems that they like more. It seems to be the red ones. But they'll soak all of the branches if they need to. Yeah, I'm on to you, buddy. I get what you're doing, yeah, but if you ever see one in the water, they're very graceful and they move smoothly. As they start to come out of water, they become a little bit slow and makes me realize, hmm, I think I know why people were able to catch them so quickly. A beaver out of water it's not the most gracious thing. And let's watch. Oh, well, okay, maybe this one didn't want to come out of the water. But if we ask really nicely, I bet you she will. Actually, you know that it's really tough to actually tell a male and a female beaver apart without checking or seeing it have to give birth? But really slow. Looks pretty slow moving to me. Makes sense why trappers would trap it. Unfortunately, they trapped a lot of them and almost put them into extinction. But they're making a comeback. They're a little bit stronger than we think. The teeth are so bright, right? I love the way that it just sort of wanders around. This one looks a little bit colder than the one on the other day. It must be freezing. Imagine coming out of the water and then the wind blowing through your wet fur. Oh man, it must be so cold being a beaver and coming out to get food. You better make sure that you stash your food right. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I didn't give you enough time to get ready. You didn't know that we were going to meet up today. Aw, oh, that's so nice of you to wash your face for me. Not going to lie, I don't think I washed my face this morning. Is that okay? Man, you look really cold. And your tail looks a little bit damaged. I must thank you for letting me spend all this time with you. I've never been this close to a beaver to actually appreciate the mannerisms. I love your tiny little hands and the way that you wash your... Oh, see? You wash your face just like me. Well, when I wash my face. Oh, get those scratches in there. Yeah, it must feel so good. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed your time with me. Maybe I'm going to come back. I didn't actually realize that you had Webb's feet, though. Look at that webbing. That must be why you can swim so well. Yeah. And your tail must be a powerful motor, or kind of like an oar to get you through that water so quickly. That combination must be amazing for you. Yeah, it might not be the greatest on land, but in water, you're quick. Huh. Well, 
I'm going to head home soon because it's getting cold and I'm getting hungry. Watching you eat all this wood. Yeah. Wait, where are you going? I thought you were going to go home. Isn't that why you were cleaning up? Huh. Well. Oh, you just want to show off and point out that you cut down that log. Yeah, I see that. That thing's massive. I wonder how long that took you to do. Did you do it just one shot? Or was it a whole process? Here's a question for you. I've noticed that sometimes you've put down a branch and not gone back for it. Beavers? Um, I don't know how to put it. Uh, maybe they don't have the best sight? Yeah, like, sometimes you put down one branch and you don't pick it up. You pick up a different one. Is there something about that branch, or are you just saving it for later? Hmm, I wonder. The one thing I can tell is your teeth are sharp, because you can chew through so many logs so quickly. It's crazy that your teeth never stop growing, though, and that's part of the reason you have to chew on branches. It must be really cold during winter. Do you live alone? Hmm. And this is a lot of work. I know I have watched you for a little bit, but you haven't done this much damage. I think this would take you a long time. Maybe have help. Yeah. The more I look at these videos, I think there might be more than one of you because I walk one way and I see one over here and then it goes for a swim and I walk the other way and there's one over there I'm not really sure if it's the same beaver but you know what I definitely am gonna have to come back because it's quite educational watching you guys and I love that I'm able to be so close to you not going to lie, it's a little bit weird that there's a road right here, but you guys don't seem to care. The road doesn't seem to bother you. I'm sure at some point the city or the farmer is going to try to remove you, but maybe in the summertime you'll go back to the river and get away. You know? Well, I wonder what the den or your lodge looks like. Can I come back and take a look? Oh, maybe next time. Okay, see ya. Until then, stay safe, have fun, and enjoy the wildlife.